What's up, divine feminine, divine masculine? I don't know who this energy for. This is this. My readings are for the karmas, divine feminine, and the masculine. I need some chapstick. Um, I'm finna do my hair. I'm finna make myself look better, divine feminine. I've been moving and I've been trying to do the readings in between, so I ain't got time to to do all that. But I I gotta brush my hair and shit. I got it. I got to. Okay, but divine feminine, divine masculine, whichever one it is out there, whoever is listening. Somebody is um, either you're refusing to fight over a situation, you're not arguing, you're not discussing this shit no more, because it has you in a, like a kind of messed up mode, I can't think of the word, Um, you're feeling kind of down crying over spilled milk, Mm -hmm. sadness, depressed, because you was trying to juggle somebody. And maybe you've been getting into it with either your divine feminine or your karmic, and it has you depressed. You could have been (coughs) a masculine energy. You was halfway given to your girl Because you're going through a breakup and a separation. Now, Divine Feminine, if you in here, and Divine Masculine, I know you in here. There's a hostile energy. Now, this hostile energy is the karmic energy that's hostile toward Divine Masculine and the Feminine. Because Divine Masculine, you you have king, top top shelf royalty energy. Okay. Um... This karmic that you, you're going through a breakup with, you have to stand your ground with it. And this is an ex that's still in love with you, and they're hostile because you're in love with the divine feminine. Um, this karmic has went all around your neighborhood, um, your community, talking bad about you, possibly even passing out flyers, you know, with some fucked up shit on it. But um, some of you, if, if it's not your karmic, somebody could be passing out flyers. You may be trying to start a, a business or something. But I feel like a karmic is doing some sort of community thing where she's passing out bad notes on your name. Um, she's a loser in peasant energy. And this person, this karmic, sees that you have a filled, fulfilled, joyous relationship with your divine feminine. Now, if you hadn't, haven't met your divine feminine, maybe, you, maybe you've maybe you met her and you don't know who she is, divine masculine. Just because um, people think divine and feminine and divine masculine is married, that's not always the occasion. Okay, I said that wrong. You know what I mean. Um, not the occasion. It's not always not the case. Okay, I said the occasion. Well, the occasion either, but okay. This karmic energy. If you haven't haven't met her, you have a karmic in your life, or you with your divine feminine, or you just with the karmic feminine. Same for you, divine feminine. You could have a karmic masculine. Okay, the masculine is the male. It could be a male carrying a feminine energy. It can it can be a feminine carrying a male energy. So you have to take the, the parts of the story that resonates with you. Somebody has a karmic out there and the masculine has been fighting with her and he's feeling depressed because he was trying to juggle this karmic with his divine feminine. Okay, and now he's depressed because since he's been dealing with this karmic energy, his whole relationship with his feminine is off balance. Mm-hmm. They're going through breakups and separations, and this karmic energy is threatened by the divine feminine's growth. This could be somebody who you grew up in your community with divine feminine. Okay? And if you grew up with them, this is the snake that's in your garden close to your house. 
but you're in good health after a spiritual attack. This person was trying to send a spiritual attack, and they didn't, they terminated a pregnancy by your master. Now, this is not for everybody. This is for somebody. So take the parts that resonate and leave the rest. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let that shit go, all right? Main female. Somebody's family is acting, you know, sideways toward you. Or they, your family feels like you're acting sideways towards them. But that's your family. Your family, they say that about everybody. You know that, Divine Feminine. Okay. So-and-so acting all sideways towards me or got me feeling sideways. That's that's just their favorite word to say, um, sideways. So some of you, this is somebody young you're dealing with. Somebody's birthday is January 7th. Somebody's birthday is January 4th. Somebody's birthday is February 2nd. Someone's birthday is February 1st. So there's an energy. Somebody's, somebody, your siblings or somebody's birthday is like one or two days apart. You're years apart, but you're days apart in, when it comes to your birthday. This could be somebody who's threatened by your growth. Someone who, who you share a close birthday with, you may share the same damn birthday. Okay? Or your your ex could, your ex karmas could have um, the same birthday as you. Somebody may be um, 21, 22. With these numbers out here, it's, it's like some youngsters. They're not having none under 21. Some of y'all sneaking up in here. Because it's a 17 out here. It's a 14 out here. It's a 21 and a 22. You even got your little baby sister that's two years old sitting there. Really? <laughs> Damn. Mm. That's why y'all feeling sideways. It's some kids that, that creeped up in here on their mama phone. And yeah, it's showing. There's some kids that been got up on this video. And they can't comment because their mama going to be like, I didn't comment. I didn't. I don't even know who you are. But somehow a kid came across my channel. That could be 14 or 17. And 21 and 22 is all right. There's some documents. Somebody don't want you to cut them off. These documents can that's being signed can be uh, some sort of legal papers. You could be receiving some money in the envelope coming to your home. Um, somebody could be signing a death certificate, a birth certificate, a marriage certificate. So you could have threatened to cut somebody off and now they're ready to marry you to buy a feminine. <laughs> All this chaos out here. They juggling you with this with this karmic or this karmic then threaten your masculine to marry them. Some somebody done signed some sort of documents. You may have signed the, the marriage uh, marriage papers and you got to receive them. You get you're about to. And if it's not you, divine feminine, that your masculine married. Whatever document, somebody signed some documents and they sick behind it. These documents have something to do with somebody not being cut up, cut off, even though they're causing a lot of conflict. This is a peasant energy. Their name could start with the letter B. This could be somebody from your community. There's also an insurance payout energy out here. And Spirit is saying it's going to pay out just fine. Just be patient. Because um, you're dealing with the clown, the performing arts of the circus school that majored in clowns. That could be the one that's over your case. That's a loser. Be careful because this person may be a snake. You may have to stand your ground when it comes to this person. Somebody had a has a, a PlayStation XP something xp extra power i don't know what the xp playstation 5 xp something xp something extreme somebody got extreme pussy divine feminine divine masculine extreme pussy extreme <laughs> extreme vagina <laughs> somebody's ex has extreme vagina 
Okay. You sitting here, divine feminine, you not saying nothing. Damn, here the ex come out. Neither one of y'all saying nothing. But it's like you're looking right at each other. You may know her. Okay. There's no gossip. You ain't gossiping your friends and she ain't gossiping hers. And um, this is a, a false mask came off. So maybe you two came together and was about to fight. Did you get this close? What happened with Divine Feminine in this karmic? What's going on between why is Divine Feminine looking straight at the karmic? Oh, shit. Because you know she's a snake trying to return. Trying to get back to your masculine? Okay, Spirit, tell me more. Why is Divine Feminine and this karmic facing each other? Why are they facing each other? Are they about to fight? Is this a fight? Is this a fight you already got into it with this person? Or this could be a lesbian. This could be a lesbian couple. They about to fight because somebody's a snake. Uh, somebody wanted you in despair, but you're not. They wanted you in poverty, but you're not. They wanted to use you because they seen you either got a good job, you put the toilet and labor in, and you moving. So the snake is trying to come back into your life. And for some of you, this is a feminine and feminine. Okay. This could be two sisters. This could be two best friends. This is the person that your masculine could have been juggling you with. This could be a third party situation. But masculine don't want you to cut him off. This could be this. <coughs> this is a... Um, this could be somebody, this could be your husband or somebody you was in a long-term relationship with. You could be, um, this, this karmic may be coming towards you because she knows that the masculine holds you in high honor. You ain't saying nothing and she ain't saying nothing. But you both looking at each other, so you may know each other. Do you know her divine feminine? Or does she know you? Both of you are facing each other. Maybe she lives close to you somewhere and you don't know it. Yeah, she lives in your community. She lives close to you. Uh-huh. She could see you. Mm-hmm. She could look out her window and look right at you. Damn. And if you know about her, you can look out your window and see her. Damn. Who is this? Divine Master? Oh, here's Karmic X. What are you doing out there? Trying to keep these two feminines, feminines the, the Karmic and the, the uh, Divine, trapped. Mind games. Spell work. So he's doing spell work on the Karmic and you, Divine Feminine. Now, this is not for everybody, but this is a Karmic Masculine, not you, Divine Masculine. Unless you have been uh, demoted to a Karmic. Okay. Tell me more. Okay, the universe is out here. Divine Feminine, you took a good risk or something. The universe got your back. You're about to be blessed. Because you was in a giving energy. Now spirit is about to give to you. Because you were showing love and happiness. Now spirit is going to show you love and happiness. Mm-hmm. You're about to receive some blessings from the universe. Maybe you're not letting your, your ex see the child. You guys could have a child either 9 years old or 18, 11 years old. Somebody's birthday could be March the 2nd. Somebody's birthday can be April first born on april fool's day or some of these dates may be significant they could be a a date i mean a, um anniversary day the birthday date the date you met your love your true love the date you broke up february 3rd
the narcissist. Okay. Sudden wealth. So you're dealing with the narcissist, and this man got money, right? But he ain't telling you how much money he got, but he got a lot, all right? And you done made him your main man. But let me tell you about this narcissist, okay? They will control you with your money. They will save their money and make it think, make you believe like they got so much money and they saving. But they spending your money at the same time in a sneaky, manipulative way, okay? They control your money. They'll tell you what you shouldn't buy. You can have your eyes set on something that you want to buy. They'll some sort of way try to manipulate you to where you're not, uh, you won't buy it or talk you out of it because they don't want to see you with some good things, with nice things. But they'll sit around you and talk about all the nice things that people that's around them got. See, they don't want you to show the, the good, the goodness or the, the abundance that you have because they don't have that abundance. So they want to like, like that candle is going down on that flame. That's how they want your life to go. But the flame is still going, even though the candle is getting lower to the ground. That flame is still there. So that's what you think about. Okay. This is that narcissist. Tell me more about this narcissist. And the best thing when you're dealing with the narcissist, if you got some money coming, don't tell them. Because they will stop your new beginnings. Whatever you said you wanted to or something you've been praying for, and then the divine bless you to have enough money to get it, they will talk you out of getting it. So don't tell them. You just get your shit, have it delivered to your house. Don't even tell them. Don't tell them shit. Don't tell them. If it's something that can blend in with whatever you want, blend in with the rest of your stuff, don't even show them that it's something new. Order your shit discreetly and just blend it. Blend on in with everything else. I'm telling you, because once you, he find out or she finds out that you're spending your money the way you want to, they're going into their little manipulation, manipulative tactics on how they can get you to not spend your money and put it to the side so they can come later and ask you for something. Okay? And that's how they become wealthy. Manipulation. Some of you could have met this person. They could have come from another city or another state. They could have a business in another city or state. They could be wealthy and not telling you. Or you may know. But they also pay a lot of money for spell work. Okay? Some of you, this person, you're not, you're not spending no more time with them or you're not wasting time on them because you have found out that they're doing spell work. And somebody is doing spell work against somebody's money. See, this is what the narcissist will do. They will talk bad about your money. And they will, you know, say things to, to, to kill your bright ideas to where you're not making no money. And that's their spell work. Okay? They're speaking that shit. So, like, when my dude be doing that, I be like, all right, shut that shit up. I, I bind you, Satan. Uh-uh. You ain't finna be speaking all that shit up against me. All that negative shit. If you want to stay in that little rundown world and you don't want to grow and you don't want to evolve... Then you keep that shit over there. Shit. They need to come out with a uh 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 a sage spray. Where you go, get the fuck away. Get back. You add all that negative energy. I spray this spray and it dissolves all the it's like you know how our energy is is a force field like that picture up there. You see? It's like the, the little force field that you got, right? But when you put that, when you when you spray that, sh -sh, you know how it disintegrates smoke and all of that when you spray a little shit? That's how that spray should do. Maybe I may think of, maybe I may uh, make me a sage spray. Some sort of way, I'm going I'm to get a, make a sage spray, but I'm going to put some essence oil to it. And um, I mean that essence oil, essential oil to give it a spray. And you can just spray it on you. So you don't have to go to work with that funky ass scent of the sage. Because that shit, it smells bad. Okay, it do. Sage. And when it gets in your clothes, you can be in spray perfume on you. And then you put some sage on you. That sage is going to overwhelm that, that perfume. Then you walking around the store. You walking around. People hug you. They think you're funky and shit. Because you didn't put that sage. Because I, I smoke my clothes up with it. And you see, I got my little spray bottle, and this is just a little after bath, but shit, I have to spray that shit right after I spray some sage, because I don't like the way that shit smell. Put it in the comments if you like the way sage smell. 
candle is almost down to the bottom. So Divine Feminine, I'm going to stop this reading right here. And if you're dealing with the narcissist, baby, I suggest that you uh, you inbox me and order one of my um, spiritual healing packages because this motherfucker is going to try to, he's going to work your nerves. He's going to, uh, you'll be losing sleep behind him and all of that type of shit, going through the drama. And you're going to need to protect your energy from it, okay? And that's what's coming towards you. Peace.